In this Datahawk tutorial, Pratik shows us how to use Datahawk market tool that helps to analyze markets, categories and competitors to get a clear overview of what strategies your competitors use and to really understand your market. Datahawk is an e-commerce analytics and optimization software for Amazon and Walmart sellers. And if you want to try this software by yourself, find the link below in the description to sign up. And if you like videos we create, don't forget to click like button below and subscribe to our channel. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Pratik here. Uh, you can call me Pat. I'm head of customer success at Datahawk. We're an e-commerce business management uh, software headquartered in uh, Paris. Uh, today, I'm here to talk to you about market intelligence. It's uh, you know one of the uh, tools or let's say solutions we have on the platform. I'm really excited to talk to you about it. So let's dive right in. So what is market intelligence? Market intelligence is basically you getting insights on how the market's performing. Right. So imagine for a second that you sell mattresses on Amazon. Right. So you want market intelligence. Right. Which are the top selling products? Right. In in you know in 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 the mattress space on Amazon. Right. What price are they selling at? You know what's their star rating and things like that. So we provide you with all of those analytics on Datahawk. So what? So you know Amazon's a search engine. Right. So everything starts with keywords right on Amazon. Why? Because, you know, a shopper goes to Amazon, types something in the search bar, and then, you know, there's a bunch of search results and, you know, the, the shopper ends up buying one of those products, right? So you want visibility at a keyword level. You want insights on, you know, what's happening for specific keywords. So when you click, let's say you start tracking a certain search term on Datahawk, let's say the word mattress, right? And when you click on that search term on Datahawk, look, we're showing you all of the products that are appearing, you know, on Amazon for that search term right? You see 240 results here, right? Why 240? Because on each page of search results on Amazon, there's 48 organic results, right? And at Datahawk, we fetch the first five pages worth of results, meaning 48 multiplied by five is 240, right? So this, it's, it's telling you that this guy, this Zionist product, right, is showing up on page one in the first position, right, on Amazon for this search term, for the search term mattress. This, this linen spa product is showing up on page one in the second position and so on, right? So now, you know, this is one way to unveil who your competitors are on Amazon because these are the guys that are showing up for this search term. And you can see some top level information for all of these products, right? You know, uh, the star rating, the number of ratings, the price. And when you start tracking these products on Datahawk, like, you know, I am doing uh, for this guy, this linen spa product, you know how it says tracked. I can also see estimated monthly sales dollars and units, right? You don't see them here is because, you know, you need to start tracking them to be able to see these, uh, you know, estimated sales figures. Now, another way to get, uh, you know, uh, let's say get market intel, is from a BSR perspective, meaning sales ranks perspective. So one way is by looking at keywords, right? Which I just showed you. The other way is by looking at a specific category on Amazon. So you know how Amazon publishes the, the has those bestseller lists, you know, which is basically the top 100 selling products on, on any given day in any given category, right? So at Datahawk, we fetch this result, you know, the, the top 100 uh, selling products across 20,000 Amazon categories every single day, meaning you can just search for a category on, uh, on Datahawk and we'll show you the top 100 selling products in that category, right? So I was searching for the, let's say, category mattresses, right? And I can see that these are the top selling products in the mattresses category today. And this data refreshes every single day. That means this linen spa product is the number one selling product on Amazon in this category. This guy, the Zionist guy, is the number two selling product and so on. And again, you've got some top level information on all of these guys. The star rating, the number of ratings, uh, you know, the price, the estimated sales, you know, uh, dollars and units. And again, if you want that information for all of these other products, all you need to do is start tracking them like I am for this guy here. Right, says tracked. Cool. So this is that, like I said, so there's two ways for you to unveil who your competitors are on Datahawk, either through keywords, which I did, which I showed you here, right, mattress, or through by by looking at categories. So here I'm looking at the mattresses category. That's those are the two ways for you to unveil who your competitors are. The second thing you want to do vis-a-vis -vis, you know market intelligence is understand market dynamics. What I mean by that is today, you know, when you're trying to answer the question. Why are some of your products showing up on page one, let's say for a given set of search terms, or let's say for a search term, while others are not? The answer actually lies in data, 
right? So when you, let's say, you click on a, when you start tracking a, a search term on Datelock, let's say the keyword mattress, right? And when you come to this tab, the market analysis tab, here is where you can find the answer as to, you know, why certain, basically this shows you the profile of all of the products that are appearing on page one, right? For this search term, mattress. It's telling you what you need to do to be visible on page one. Right. So when you look at the price card as an example, right, when you look at the median price, it's telling you that 50 percent of the products that made it to page one for that search term, right, mattress were priced below three hundred forty seven dollars. In terms of price, though, I prefer looking at the top quartile. Now, the top quartile is the top 25 percent, meaning 75 percent of the products, this whole range that made it to page one organically for that search term were priced below four hundred thirty one dollars. Why? Because Amazon's algorithm, which is constantly learning from shoppers buying behavior, has learned that most people, when they type in this search term, mattress, they tend to purchase products which are priced worth less than uh, $431. As a result, 75% of the products, the algorithm is deliberately showing in search results a price below $431. Meaning if your product or products are priced beyond $431, the likelihood of making it to page one organically for that search term is going to be pretty low. Meaning you're going to need to bid on that search term to make it to page one. Otherwise, the market dynamics will not you know, allow your product to make it to page one. Right. And everything that I just mentioned in terms of, you know, the relationship between price and position can be seen on this scatter plot. So every single dot here is a unique ASIN, right? On the y-axis, you're looking at positions. So zero to 50 is page one, right? Because there's 48 organic results per page. On the x-axis down below here, you're looking at, you know, the price. So what's interesting is, look, the moment you go beyond $400 in terms of price, there's maybe like seven, eight products. Or let's look at the $500 mark, right? The moment you go beyond $500, there's like six guys on page one. That's it. That means if you're selling, you know, uh, a product which is worth more than five hundred dollars, it's most likely not going to make it to page one. Most of the dots, you know, beyond five hundred, they're here, up here. That's that's like page three, four, five, and so on. The cluster on page one is somewhere between, let's say, two hundred sixty-six dollars and four hundred fifty-nine dollars. That's where you want to be priced, right? If you want to be on uh, page one for that search term. Um, so this was one way to look at, you know, uh, market dynamics. The other way is through, again, through a category perspective, right? So what do you need to do to become a best-selling product in a given category? So come to the BSR browser on Datelock by clicking on, let's say, market here, pull up any specific category like I just did, you know, mattresses, and then scroll down to this tab, the market analysis tab. So what I showed you earlier was, you know, getting market dynamics from a keyword perspective. This is showing you the market dynamics from a bestseller's perspective, meaning what do you need to do to become a best-selling product in this category, right? So again, in terms of price, when you look at the top quarter, this is telling you that 75% of the products that became best-selling products in this category were pr a price below $281, meaning if you have a product that's priced above $280, it's most likely not going to become a best-selling product, or at least the likely it's going to be low. And in terms of ratings, it tells you that, you know, you need to be close to 1295 ratings, right, to become a best-selling product. Actually, you can see that information uh, for keywords also, right? For, for, let's say, this search term mattress, you need to have at least 176 ratings. Why? Because this is the lower quartile. Now, the lower quartile is the bottom 25%, meaning 75% of the products that lie beyond the lower quartile that made it to page one had at least 176 ratings. That means unless you're close to 176 ratings, you're not going to satisfy the algorithm's threshold to make it to page one organically. That means you're going to need to, let's say, you know, um, start bidding on that search term to sell enough units to get close to 176 ratings, at which point you'll start satisfying the algorithm's uh, threshold and, you know, start making it to page one organically, at which point you can shut your ads down, right? So uh, I hope I was able to explain to you, uh, you know, how you can support you with market intel. But there's one last thing I want to show you. So let's go to Datahawk once again. Let's go to market right? And let's look at the mattresses category here. So I'm going to pull up mattresses. Yeah, there we go. Let's look at mattress, this one. So when remember, I showed you the, you know, the market dynamics uh, for this category. Now, when you come to the history tab, that's where things become interesting. Give me a moment. There we go. I know this looks like something that a five-year-old drew, but believe me, there's so much more to this uh, graph that you see here. So 
Every single line here from left to right, meaning from beginning to end is a unique ASIN. Okay, on the Y axis here, right, you're looking at the top 100 sales ranks, starting at one, going all the way down to 100. On the X axis here, you're looking at the last 30 days of timeline, starting October the 11th, ending around November the 9th. Essentially, this graph is showing you the sales rank evolution of the top 100 products over the last 30 days in this category, the mattresses category, right? What's interesting is look at the very top let's say somewhere between one and 10 or 15, you start to see some straight lines. Why is that? That's because stability. That tells you that signals stability. That means once a product cracks the top 100 in any given category, it tends to become stable. It's going to become difficult for your competition to displace you. That's because of the flywheel effect. Once you become a best-selling product, it means you know, you're selling a lot. That if you're selling a lot, Amazon thinks you're a relevant product. That means when shoppers type something you know, that's relevant on, on Amazon, like a keyword, Amazon's going to uh, you know, uh, prioritize your product in search results. And because more people are going to see your product, they're going to buy your product, and the flywheel keeps spinning. Because after the top 10, what you see is extreme volatility right? Lots of competition beyond the top 10, right? You can't make sense of anything that's going on here. But once you're in the top 10, you're going to see stability. And you see this dynamic for any and every uh, category on Amazon, right? So that's how, you know, we can support you with, um, you know, uh, market analysis, uh, or let's say market intelligence on, uh, on DataHawk. Uh, well, um, yeah, I hope you like this uh, tutorial. And if you're interested in, uh, uh, you know, uh, leveraging this uh, tool, uh, check us out on uh, datahawk.co. Uh, we have a lifetime uh, free uh, option uh, for you as well, where you can track some products and some keywords at no charge uh, to you. So yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you on DataHawk. Thank you. I hope this tutorial will help you to better understand how does DataHawk SEO tool work. DataHawk gives you the right selling tools and data insights on Amazon and Walmart to successfully grow your e-commerce business. If you want to try DataHawk by yourself, find the link below to sign up in the description of this video. And now I would like to recommend you to check another video with Pratik where he explains how to boost your profit margins with Amazon SEO.